Okay, guys, expect na baka may mga pag na magaganap sa episode na to dahil business and ECQ real talk ang ating topic. Let's start on a positive note. Kaya gusto namin ipakita tong episode na to because we don't want you to feel alone. Gusto namin malaman yon na we are going through it as well. Na of course, we want people to see that we're doing our very best to stay positive and to stay afloat. But we're also feeling what you're feeling. And walang nakaligtas talaga sa pandemic na to. I was already feeling the possible second wave. Mararamdaman mo yun as a business owner eh. It seems that everything is picking up, but then again, you're still far from your peak season. So the high of December is gone, and you're hearing the news na the cases are rising. So kahit hindi pa nagla-lockdown guys, kahit hindi pa nag-a-announce ng ECQ Round 2, I was feeling like it was heading there. While I was feeling that, the work was on high. Ibig sabihin, those feelings are something that I just set aside. But work was ongoing. Kasi nga, hindi naman sarado eh. Like, you see that people are going out. The studio is operational full. Every day, they, they get to work. You see Kuya Budoy doing some progress in the studio. The staff here in the studio is working. We're doing double time in li- listing products. Pop Junk Club is here. All of our staff are in stores. Kumbaga, in practice, we were parang willing to ride the momentum na magpipick up yung economy. But then again, iba yung nakikita sa iba yung dumarating. Alam mo yun? Yung iba yung results niya. While I was feeling that, I was still willing to show up and do the work and take that leap na baka maging okay. Nagsisink in na ba siya? Oh my God! Sobrang nagsisink in talaga siya. Iba yung ECQ Round 1 eh sa ECQ Round 2. We were still hopeful because everyone has pivot plans. So iba din kasi yung excitement ng pagpipivot baka meron pa tayong magawa. Iba rin yung alam mo na hindi ka pa sagad. Kasi again, it's ECQ round 1 eh. So, it was the first time and probably most businesses like kami siguro had savings. All of those savings, of course, went to continuing supporting our staff and our community kahit walang kita yung mga stores, etc. So, there was hope. And then, 2021, alam yung namin ni Maan, na thank you 2020 for the lessons and then one of the lessons is prepare for the worst parang kinain namin yung sinabi namin kasi apparently we're not yet ready for the worst kasi uh, ECQ round 2 happened and 2021 happened and apparently 2021 was not a recovery year um, in 2021 ang feeling is there seems to be no end to it we're really not sure hanggang saan namin kayang magantay. Kasi, for you to survive, it needs to stop now. <laughs> Kaso nga, hindi eh. So, I guess yun yung difference niya. In 2020, parang you can still wait. Baka, 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 ganyan. 2021, like, nakakapit ka sa patalim. Or, baka wala na kaming magawang paraan. Me, Adisel, and my husband, all alone. All alone. Since bawal mag work ang staff, I guess kami magbabalot ng orders. The plan is to be able to keep on working even if lockdown, so we don't have staff. No pop junk club here, and no studio staff. So we have to do everything. Sobrang dami lang namin items as in We are like your personal shoppers Look at all the abubots that you need to look for your orders uh, Second Monday of PCQ Round 2 So we don't have staff All the stores are still closed There basically we have to do everything ourselves again Shipping's been delayed we have a lot of meat orders that are on hold as well because we don't have production. Non-essential workforce are not allowed to go to work. 
while we can do most of the mechanical stuff ourselves, there are still some things that we can. So there, it's just us again in the studio for the second week of BTQ Vlog. <laughs> Vlogger ako for the day. <laughs> so we're here at the stock room area. We're going to look for products for the web orders. And then we're going to pack. And then we're going to do so many other things. We're still at the studios for third day of ECQ. And we're working on different things. Artisos listing products. List more products and take photos. Artisos listing products in Shopee. Shopee! <laughs> and I'm going to take pictures. We're off to Ayala Bay. We have a meeting with the DTI Go Local team. It's a very critical visit dahil yung mga pangarap namin na 2021 recovery ay parang lumiliit ang chances. So there, kamusta pa kayo dyan? Okay po ba kayo? Common Room started with 33 makers. So now we almost have 200 makers and artists and small businesses in Common Room. Pero a lot of our makers is really depending on the shop. Na if no walayon, parang nawalan sila ng work. So it's not just our staff of around 30, even families who are depending on the store as their main source of income. Yun talaga. Madami talaga. Those 200 makers and artists support other people, support their families, support their craft, support other communities. So exponential siya. Yun talaga yung pinagkakapitan. Kung bakit kahit sobrang hirap na, umaasa ka pa rin na baka kayanin pa. Minsan isip mo na nakakapagod na siya, di ba? Nakakapagod naman na talaga siya. Pero isipin mo yung mga nakatepende sa business, yun yung pinangahawakan mo. It's not really what's comfortable for you. ECQ round 2, honestly, meron naman siyang silver lining. Somehow, even if we didn't have savings anymore, etc., we were not totally lost. The studio is open. We have inventory that's not dependent in stores. Yun yung problem namin last year, di ba? Nung wala ng stores, wala kaming inventory, we can't open the online. Now that we have a studio space with our own inventory, when everything closed, we can still operate. Sariling sikap nga lang. But again, we were not lost. We know what to do. We don't want you to feel down. Diba? Na parang iniisip nyo, si common room na yan. <laughs> Paano pa kami? I want this episode to be pwede nyo ring pagkapitan on why you still need to continue with your plans. Even if it's not showing any results. Hindi lahat ng tinanim mo, hindi naman bubunga agad, diba? Like, ang bunga lumalabas ng three years. Ganun ang mga prutas. Ganun din sa totoong buhay, guys. Pero tumutubo siya. And nung nagsarado kami, nung ECQ round 2, dun namin naramdaman na kahit na wala lahat, meron ng mga halaman na tumubo dun sa mga tinanim namin last year. Para kung mangyari ulit to sa future, hindi na kayo magsa-start from zero. Nasimulan nyo na siya. Kahit hindi pa siya gumagana or hindi pa siya 100%, at least nasa 10%. 20%, 30% na kayo. Kaysa sa 2022, dun pa lang kayo magzi 0 to 1 to 2 to 3%, diba? Itanim nyo na yan. You can mope, so you can get over it. And then do everything in your power to get yourself out of it. So for me, one way is to continue what I can do today. Kasi nandun pa rin naman siya, hindi siya mawawala yung mga kailangan mong gawin. And then next is self-care. So yun nga, yung mga sports and being with family. Nariisip mo na you still have the most important blessing that you could ever ask for, which is buhay yung family mo and wala silang sakit. So maiisip mo na mas gusto mo bang mataas yung sale or mas gusto mo bang buhay with your family. Paminsan, yung mga ganong simpleng bagay, the simple things that you do make you realize na you have the best gift for today. You have it. It's not the stores. It's not the sales. It's your life. It's your family. 
you still have your community with you who are willing to help you go through this crisis with you so you're not alone. So you have to really get in touch with your friends. Also, kung wala ka nang maisip na plans, talaga kasi ubus na ubus ka na, then learn something new. Promise, guys. Huwag niyong isipin na we're always positive. We are feeling the feelings. <laughs> May pag-iiyak na nagaganap. We're not always positive. We cry a lot. But we cry because we need to cry so that we can move on and continue planning and hopefully planting para makita natin yung results na pinapangarap natin sa future. Please show up for work. Go through your feelings and show up for work. Do everything that we can still do today because life won't wait. We don't know kung matatamaan ba tayo, mamalasin ba tayo, and we never know kung sino yung taong mai-impact nung ginagawa mo. It can be yourself, helping yourself get out of this down feeling. It could be getting your family another meal for the day. Maybe giving another day of work to your staff. Or maybe just releasing an artwork that people can relate to. And making them feel that someone really understands what they're feeling. I think those are very, very good reasons to still show up for work regardless of whether it or not it brings back money or the results that you want from your brands or your businesses or your studios. Because every time you show up for work, you increase your chances of getting a project and getting your brand out of this mess. You give that dream another chance every time you show up for work just do what you can today and every small decision that you make for your business i am sure i am sure that you're not just impacting yourself but it creates ripples to other people maybe it can even inspire other people to continue for another day diba imagine mo yun na uy ang galing niya ako din try ko din diba Ang laki ng bagay nun sa totoo lang. So, if helping ourselves may help others, then it's a really good reason to still show up for work. So, there guys! Napakahaba na namang maalaala mo kaya session care of Common Room PH. And hopefully, hindi kayo masyadong down, na down sa aking feelings and you still were able to get things that could help you feel more hopeful in the coming days so there guys thank you so much for joining me today and hopefully if you like this like the video subscribe comment if you have suggestions or other tips for other aspiring entrepreneurs please support our community please shop when you can shop small and all of the links to our stores and our web shop are in the description below Thank you guys. Thank you so much. Bye.